In today's video, I'm going to be explaining to you why corner railies are seriously hurting your chances of learning air tricks. So today's video is going to be a little bit different to our usual videos, but this message I feel and the more that I teach people, I feel so strongly about this is the corner railie is just the worst thing you can do when learning air tricks. Um, and I'm going to explain to you now why that is the case. For the corner railie, you're basically using the system two's turning points to get you up into the air. The way that this happens is obviously the system two, the carrier runs all the way down to the end and then it comes back in the opposite direction. Unlike the cable, which just turns at 90 degrees um, and for the railies on the cable, you have to build tension and use, use a strong edge to really get you up into the air. Because of the way that the system two works, in order to make a good corner railie, all you need to do is gain speed going into the corner. No tension is required, which is a massive, massive part of learning air tricks. Now, I'm gonna demonstrate exactly what I mean about the difference in these two things. When it comes to doing a corner railie, the way that you achieve maximum height is actually just by gaining lots of speed into the corner and then completely flattening the board off as if you're gonna continue riding straight in the direction you're going in. So you can almost hang no strength in your arms, no strength in your legs, and just lean back. And then when the cable starts to turn, the cable's gonna pull you off your edge and then just magically pull you in the air. This is going to lead you into the biggest sense of false confidence. Simply leaning back and gaining speed is much, much different to the actual Rayleigh cut. Now I'm going to demonstrate how it's a bit different here. Now the proper Rayleigh cut, we need to make sure that our body is nice and strong, your arms are strong, we've got a good deep edge in the water and we're really building tension against the cable. This is what is going to build that line tension and when you do that final hard edge away, it has to be you that is in control of that movement. The corner railie is simply making you believe that if you lean back on your heels, you flatten your board off and jump with two legs, that it's gonna take you up into the air. I've got some bad news for you, it's not. The corner railie really does just teach you to gain speed, flatten off and jump with the two legs. How then would I recommend going about learning a Rayleigh? Because, you know, obviously you wanna get into that Rayleigh position, you wanna learn what it feels like to be laid out and pulling that handle in to bring your legs back under you. I would suggest going for a Rayleigh off the kicker to begin with. You can still have a hard edge into the kicker, but this time you're gonna be really actively making something happen. On the system two, it's just a case of hanging on and letting it swing you up. And if you are too scared to go for the Rayleigh off the kicker, I hate to be the one to break this to you, but you're probably not yet ready to learn the Rayleigh. The Rayleigh is a big power trick and you need to be strong and you need to understand and have a good knowledge of how the cable works and how to get an edge in the water, which is really gonna yeah, build that tension enough to pop you up into the air. I hate to go on this kind of a bit of a rant, but I feel like this message is so important purely because I have lots of people come to us for coaching who have just been doing loads and loads of corner railies and it is so clear to me the bad habits that this really does set in. Um, and I would honestly say that you're better off completely learning the railie from scratch, it's very much a trial and error method. There is unfortunately no real easy way to learn it. Um, and whoever, whoever your coach is or whether you're trying it for the first time, you have to understand that learning to do air tricks is all about that feeling, understanding how to build the tension. And it's a case of trial and error. You try one way, if it doesn't work, try a different way. And actually, 
when myself and Liam were younger, there were no System 2s around at that time. So we were both forced to go through learning the railies, and we're both left foot forward as well, riding on counterclockwise cables. And uh, yeah, I can honestly say to you, it was not the best experience, but what made it so amazing once we finally nailed them was the fact that we had figured it out, learning how to do the, the, the railie on the full system, and uh, yeah, that's what, that's what makes the Rayleigh such an epic trick is because it does take a lot of time. Um, but the right way to go about learning them is not the corner Rayleigh's. It's gonna get you into a lot of bad habits and uh, yeah, it's gonna seriously hinder your progress in the future. But that is it, that is my rant over. Some of you guys may have needed to hear this message, some of you may not, but please know my advice corner railies are not the one but if you enjoyed today's video please don't forget to subscribe give us a thumbs up and make sure to head on over to the peacockbrothers.co.uk for more free wakeboarding tips and tricks like this thank you very much for tuning in and we'll catch you guys in the next one